She is really laying it all out there, isn't she? Seemingly not afraid to say anything, however awful, she just doubled down on attacks against the president and Republican goons, and suggesting that President Trump is causing the uptick in violence against Muslims and Jews. What now? Say that again? You have got to be kidding me. Sadly, she's not. From La Corte News, Rep. Ilhan Omar, DMN, blamed President Trump and his administration for the surge in violence against Muslims and Jews and said Islamophobia and anti-Semitism are two sides of the same coin of bigotry, Newsweek reported, her address, speaking before a crowd of over 100 people at an event organized by Black Lives Matter on Tuesday, Omar ramped up her attacks on President Trump and his administration. The occupant of the White House and his allies are doing everything that they can to distance themselves and misinform the public from the monsters that they created that is terrorizing the Jewish community and the Muslim community," Omar said. Cause when we talk about anti-Semitism, we must also talk about Islamophobia. It is two sides of the same coin of bigotry, added Omar, who herself has been denounced for anti-Semitic rhetoric. This is not going to be the country of the xenophobics. This is not going to be the country of white people. This is not going to be the country of the few, this is going to be the country of the many. Here's more, Ilhan Omar, America is not going to be the country of white people. This is not going to be the country of the xenophobics. The thing that upsets the occupant in the White House his goons in the Republican Party and many of our colleagues in the Democrat Party, is that they picked out twitter.com slash or 7 y 4 f Deborah, at Deborah 4 cag May 2, 2019 and from Newsweek, check this out, Rep. Ilhan Omar has described Islamophobia and anti-Semitism as two sides of the same coin of bigotry adding that President Donald Trump and his allies are to blame for a political climate that had allowed both to prosper. At an event organized by Black Lives Matt, the Minnesota Democrat took aim at Trump's attacks on her. She says she had received an increase in death threats since video emerged in which she spoke of a rise in Islamophobia following the 9-11 attacks in New York. Trump tweeted a video of her words next to images of the terrorist attack. Omar also drew on the outpouring of emotion after the attack on the Chabad of Pau A synagogue in a San Diego suburb. The occupant of the White House and his allies are doing everything that they can to distance themselves and misinform the public from the monsters that they created that is terrorizing the Jewish community and the Muslim community, she said, NBC News reported. This is not going to be the country of the xenophobics. This is not going to be the country of white people. This is not going to be the country of the few. This is going to be the country of the many. Prominent activist Angela Davis and Massachusetts Rep. Onga Presley organized Tuesday's event, which was billed Black Women in Defense of Ilhan Omar, The Hill reported. Also attending was fellow Muslim Representative Rashida Tlaib. There had been speculation that the event would be a chance to push Democratic leaders Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer to censure Trump for inciting violence, although in the end there was no clear call for that, Omar told the 100-strong crowd that her race and religion were why she was subjected to criticism. The thing that upsets the occupant in the White House, his goons in the Republican Party, many of our colleagues in the Democratic Party is that they can't stand. That a refugee, a black woman, an immigrant, a Muslim shows up in Congress thinking she's equal to them, Omar said. Many pointed out the hypocrisy, in the same sentence she condemns racism and xenophobia, Omar attacks white people, um, that's racist Omar. Why is this seditionist allowed in Congress? Bill Mitchell, at Mitchell v, May 2, 2019 Do you want Omar out of office? You might like previous post previous next post next let's block ads. Why?